we're, we got everything set up. We have uh, two seats uh, set up for both senators, uh, Cinema and Kelly. We're hoping that they show up and support uh, the communities uh, that help put them in uh, the seats that they are now. Uh, we're excited to see everyone showing up uh, for the uh, PRO Act. Uh, a lot of people don't know what it means or, or they don't understand it, how it could impact their daily lives. And uh, we're doing actions like this so we can get information out to the people so that they can uh, really understand and, and take action. My name is Fred Yamashita. I'm the executive director of the Arizona AFL-CIO. My name is Bobby and I'm with United for Respect. Y estoy aquí para hacer uh, support, apoyo a la, a la ley pro art. I'm Joshua Baldwin. I've been working for SHIP since 2016. So I think crafting the product is important because the only way we can win the, the protections we need, the power we need, is people power and passing the PRO Act. We need for Mark Kelly and for Kirsten Cinema to stand up for us and do what we elected them to do. I mean, this fight is not just a painter's fight or a or, or Kmart workers fight or every, anything else. I mean, it's all of our fights. The PRO Act puts power back in our hands so we can stand up for ourselves and for each other. I'm here to tell my senators, Mark Kelly and Kirsten Cinema, it's time to step up and support the PRO Act. That this is the most important piece of legislation for workers in this country in our lifetimes. When employers and clients were abusive to me, there was nothing I could do because I had no legal worker protections. Immigrant rights are workers' rights. So we must stand with our undocumented workers so they're not abused by having 1099 contract labor. The reasons why we organize, the reasons why we come together, that, that the essentials are not there for hotel workers. The essentials are not there for the trades. The, the essentials are not there for anyone that's trying to make a living. And we're gonna change that. But are we gonna sit back and let them just not respond and not stand up for workers? Oh, hell no. These are hard conversations that are a little bit uncomfortable, but these are conversations that need to start happening so that we can see the change. Six, five,